In this video, I'll walk through installing EdGuard Home with a Mac VLAN network on a Synology NAS using Container Manager. In my previous video, I provided an overview of EdGuard Home and demonstrated how to set it up using either a host or bridge network. While both networking modes work, they have limitations that can be overcome by using a Mac VLAN network. To learn more about host and bridge networking modes and their limitations, check out my previous video, which I'll link to in the description below. Let's start with an overview of the setup we'll cover in this video. As I mentioned earlier, we'll be using a Mac VLAN network. This network provides the AdGuard home container with its own MAC address, allowing it to be assigned an IP address on the same network that the Synology NAS is physically connected to. With this setup, the services provided by the AdGuard home container can be accessed directly by clients, eliminating any port conflicts between the Synology NAS host and the container if both run similar services. In addition to the MAC VLAN network, I'll add a custom bridge network. This allows the Synology NAS host to use the AdGuard home services since a Mac VLAN network doesn't allow direct access from the host itself. Now let's get into the setup by first installing Container Manager from the Package Center. Once installed, open File Station and create an AdGuard folder under the Docker Shared folder. Then inside the AdGuard folder, Create two subfolders, conf and work. Next, open control panel, go to terminal and SNMP, and enable the SSH service. We'll use SSH to gather information needed for the setup and to test if AdGuard Home is working properly on the host Synology NAS. With these prerequisites completed, start Container Manager, select Project, and create a new project. Give the project a name and set the path to the AdGuard folder that you just created. Select create docker compose.yaml as the source and paste in the YAML configuration, which you'll find in the video description. The YAML config might seem confusing, so let's break down each section, starting with the network configuration. The first network we'll set up is the Mac VLAN network. To find the parent network interface that you'll need to use, connect to your Synology NAS via SSH and issue the IF config command. You'll see that my NAS is using ETH0, so I entered that in my setup. For the IPAM configuration, this will depend on your network. As an example, I've set the subnet to 10.0.4.0 24 which is the LAN that my NAS is on. The gateway is the router's IP address, and the IP range defines a slash 32 subnet that allows for one assignable host address, which in my case is 10.0.4.136. I chose this IP because it wasn't already in use. For your setup, you'll need to determine your subnet, gateway, and find an available IP address on your network. The bridge network section is mainly there to allow the Synology NAS host to use the AdGuard home services. I selected a subnet that wasn't used, assigned the gateway to the first IP address in the subnet, and used a slash 32 subnet for one assignable host address. Now that both networks are defined, scroll to the top of the YAML config and assign the Mac VLAN and bridge IP addresses to the AdGuard home container. Once the edits are complete, click Next. Next again on the Web Portal Settings window, and then Done to complete the setup and start the project. With AdGuard home running, open a new browser tab and enter in the Mac VLAN IP address along with port 3000 to access the AdGuard home welcome page. Click Get Started to continue the setup. For the admin web interface, select the interface assigned to the Mac VLAN network IP address for the listen interface. For DNS server, leave the listen interface set 
to all interfaces so both the MAC VLAN and custom bridge network IP addresses can be used. From the authentication window, set a username and password, then click Next on this Configure Your Devices window. Finally, click Open Dashboard to access the admin interface login screen. You'll also notice that the admin web interface was redirected to use port 80 instead of port 3000. Now log in with the username and password you just set up to access the AdGuard Home dashboard. At this point, let's test that AdGuard Home is working properly. To do this, open a terminal window and issue this NSLOOKUP command to resolve YouTube.com using the AdGuard Home Mac VLAN IP address. If the connection times out, it could be due to the upstream DNS server not working. In this case, open the AdGuard Home web UI, go to Settings, DNS Settings, and update the upstream DNS servers. Click on this link to view available DNS providers and select the ones you'd like to use depending on the type of filtering you'd like to implement. I chose the first two listed addresses to implement ad, tracking, and phishing blocking. Back in the AdGuard Home web UI, remove the non-working server and enter in the new ones, then click on Test Upstreams to confirm that they are working. Then click Apply to save the changes. Now, if you run the nslookup command again in the terminal, it should return the DNS information for YouTube as expected. Next, let's test the custom bridge network IP address. To do this, connect to your Synology NAS via SSH and run the nslookup command with the AdGuard Home custom bridge network IP address for the DNS server, which for me resolved the youtube.com hostname properly. As a reminder, if you try to resolve DNS entries using the MAC VLAN IP address from the NAS itself, it will fail due to the limitations of MAC VLAN networks, which is expected. At this point, AdGuard Home is ready for you to use. To finalize your setup, update the DNS server on your router's DHCP settings to use the MAC VLAN IP address. This will ensure that client devices on your network use AdGuard Home. You can also update the DNS server on your Synology NAS to the custom bridge network IP address to route its traffic through AdGuard Home as well. Hopefully this gets you going with AdGuard Home using a Mac VLAN network. If you're looking for simpler options, check out my previous video on AdGuard Home using the host and bridge networking modes. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work or hire me for a Synology project you are working on, check out the links here on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.